thread about sources, academic versus popular. And just so we know, all sources um, are sources. Everything is the source, but whether or not we can use it for an essay or for um, a particular piece of evidence is different. So you might think that TMZ is not a reliable source to use. Well, that would be true if you're trying to prepare a report about soil types in Alabama. But you know what? It might be pretty reliable if you really do want to know the whereabouts of some celebrity. So basically, I just wanted to explain that sources must be there for many compositions, except for unless you're just like doing jokes or memes. Those don't really always need sources. But news reports need them. Even celebrity news and gossip sort, uh, sites need sources. Definitely college essays. And then if you're preparing a legal report, honestly, if you're just gossiping, you need a, you need sources. Um, but there are different types required for different sorts of composition. So we do need to talk about academic and popular sources. These are the main kinds that you're going to use in college. Neither of these are bad. So if I say you need a popular source, it doesn't mean that it's a uh, bad quality. It just means that it's sort of different than academic. They're used for different reasons. Regardless of which one you use, they must be credible. So there are a ton of popular sources that are not credible, and there are usually not many academic uh, sources that are not credible, but SA3 is going to require that you do credible popular sources. So you don't have to use academic sources for this course. You may if you'd like to. However, you do need to know the difference between, an, uh, between the two because in English 1102, you will need to use academic sources for your papers. So a popular source literally just means that it's by the people and it's for the people. It's not for any kind of special audience. Um, and it must and it can be very, very credible. So uh, journalism is a popular source. So the, the New York Times, the Atlanta, Atlanta Journal Constitution, all of those things are credible popular sources. But popular sources can also be not very credible. So popular doesn't mean bad because news reports are in this category, but you have to be careful because many popular sources are not reliable and there's lots of room for misinformation. So again, you need popular sources in SA3 and they have to be credible. Academic sources, on the other hand, are by the Academy College University for the Academy College University. So it's super specific kind of source and you might not need these academic sources unless you are in a particular field like medicine, law, psychology, or you know history, philosophy, that kind of thing, art, history, that, that sort of thing. It's usually peer reviewed. That means that um, instead of just going like a, an article in a newspaper goes to an editor, um, an article in academia goes to a, uh, a ton of other people, other PhDs, who have to look at it and approve of it. And that's what it means, peer reviewed. Peers in their field review it and then accept it for publication. And usually you find these in academic journals or in books that are published by university presses. So you can't always find these books just like at Barnes & Noble, though some of them you can. And sometimes academic sources are more like a governmental uh, report. So just to be certain, anything can be the object of an academic study. So I am studying YouTube um, in academia. I'm doing that uh, as my dissertation. Um, but you can study really highbrow things, quote unquote, like great literature. But you can also study graffiti in the academy. Um, but you, in order to make it an academic study, you have to find academic sources to back that up. And then um, popular objects can be studied with academic support. And so that's basically uh, what we mean when we say academic sources versus popular sources.